been good to us. Yes. We never got tired of us. Yes. We never got tired of us. Yes. You know, everything was always there right on time. He was always with us. And we just want to come today to give him praise on that day. Yes. Father God, we just lift you up on today. Yes, we thank you for who you are in each and every one of our lives, oh God. For all that you're doing and all that we know that you're still yet to do, Father. But we believe, oh God, that you didn't bring us this far to leave us, oh God. And we just want to say thank you for your goodness, oh God. Thank you for your grace and for your mercy, oh God. Father God, we ask for this afternoon that you will uplift us, oh God. Empower us, oh God. Father God, give us your strength for today, oh God. You told us to hold on, God, and we are holding on, Father God. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we just thank you right now thank for what you're going to do in this house today. Thank for you Lord. said when two or three are gathered together in your name, that you will be in them this so yeah. long. And Father God, we come to glorify you. We came to magnify you. We came to lift you up, oh God, because you and you are on the word. And we honor you, oh God. And Father God, we ask that you would have your way in this place today, oh God. Father, so you know what each and every one of us are in need of, oh God. You know the challenges that we're facing on a daily basis, Father God. Father God, you know all that we go through, Father. But most of all, God, we are just so thankful that you are with us, oh God. You never left us. You never forsake us, oh God.
you're expecting from you on today, God. Oh, yes, God. You know all about it, Father God. You know what we need, oh God. Hallelujah. You know more than about us than we know about ourselves, oh God. Oh, yes, God, because you said you have a plan and a purpose for each and every one of our life, oh God. Yes, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is our season to go harder, oh God. To go deeper in you, oh God. Yes, Lord.
expectation, expectation. Whenever we come in God's house, we should have great expectations because he's a great God. Amen? He already knows what he has for us, but we have to come in with one accord.
I feel good. I feel good this Sunday. I got no cash. I'm going to run the devil out.
October 2nd all the way into October 4th. And as we enter into this Jewish New Year, watch this, you are now ahead of time. Because the people around you are waiting for January 1st to cross over. But today, you're about to cross over. Tell us I'm going to cross over today. Hallelujah. So that means, that means, whatever your last year looked like is about to be over when? Today. Hallelujah. So tell somebody, happy Rosh Hashanah. Happy Rosh Hashanah. Amen. But there's two things I want to talk about. The first thing is the altar. Somebody shout the altar. An altar is a raised platform or a table used for religious purposes such as worship, prayer, or sacrifice. Yeah. Altars are found in many places, including your homes. Amen. Mm. Some of you have shrines and altars to other gods besides Elohim. Jesus. <laughs> Some of you have things in your house and you say, don't you touch that. Because that is an altar. Now watch this. You may let them, you may get a verbalize it's an altar, but you set that thing aside for nobody to touch. Amen. Okay, y'all want to be deep in here. If you grew up with an old school parent, they used to put plastic on the couch. Who remember that? And you would sit in the sun and fly in the winter. Amen. And you and, and when you went to big mama's house, she would tell you there were certain places you can't go in her house. Amen. She would say, Don't you go in my refrigerator without asking. Don't you go get her in my pot for help here. Don't you run in the kitchen while I'm making my cake. Because this mama had set some stuff aside as an altar. This mama had something called prayer closet. Y'all know about prayer closets. And don't you set foot in her prayer closet. Big mama had a Bible that she put her bills in. Who, who know about big mama? And she would put her bills in that Bible. You open up the PNC and G, Comcast. They all be in the pages of the Bible. And she would tell you, don't touch it. I'm going to go step further. Big mama would have a Bible in the back of her car in the windshield. Yeah. And a palm from last year Easter in the window. Hallelujah. I ain't got nothing. I'm not talking to you here. Uh, and, and, and what we didn't understand was big was building altars around her house. But well, some of you have some demonic altars in your house. And God told me to tell you to tear it down. Before you go into the new, the Jewish new year, God said, tear every ungodly altar down. Somebody shout, tear it down! 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 There are books you have read that was not of God. Tear it down. There's television shows you watch that was not of God. of the devil. Some people have created medallions of the devil. They have jewelry from the devil. They have objects people have given them as gifts that are from the devil. Don't receive things that people have prayed over. Every gift is not a good gift. One man, one man gave me a two dollar bill. He told me to put it in my wallet and never take it out. And ever since I had a two dollar bill in my wallet, I was broke. Check it out. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, it's on. <laughs> he gave, watch this. He would give everybody a $2 bill. Wow. That's called witchcraft. Yeah. Why do you give everybody the same gift? Come on. And you just take it, y'all. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And watch this. It was so deep in my wallet that I got stuck to the inside of my wallet. And God said, don't only throw the $2 bill out, but throw the wallet that it touched out. Look at that price. You got to throw it all out. Those are people 
people in your life that say, if it wasn't for me, you would be where you were. Anybody know people like that? Yeah. They don't take credit for everything you do. Yeah. Oh, oh, or if it wasn't for me co-signing, you would have gotten that car. Listen, I would have gotten a car with or without you. Let's be honest about that. You got to be very careful that you don't have people in your life that stand as God over your body. And anytime somebody says, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have that. They are acting as a God in that witchcraft. I'm trying to help you. If somebody give you a shirt, and when you wear it, they say, you look, and they wait till you in the crowded room, people will say, you look real nice in that shirt for the moment that I gave you. Take it off. Take it off and give it, take it to the cleaners and give it back better than they gave it to you. So when you gave it to the brother, you quit.
Come on, close your eyes. Today is going to be all right. Now, what's about to happen with demons are going to be agitated because what I'm about to do. So the demons are going to manifest. Watch this. If you got a demon inside you, don't be ashamed. I want them to come out tonight. Amen. Because if you go to the new year, I want you to go to the new year rest with the same demon. Come on, child. I'm not going to the new year with the same demon. Now, watch this. I don't want you to feel bashful. Just because you have a demon, don't mean you're not saved. Just because you got some things going on inside you, don't mean you don't love God. I smoke cigarettes, but I still love God. Hallelujah. I have it, but I still love God. Watch this. But I'm trying to get you to a level where your love for God overtrumps your desires. I love God so much, I don't want to smoke anymore. I love God so much, I love God more than my booty call. I'm trying to help you here. But as we cross over, we're going to tear down every altar of the devil. Come on, lift those hands in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Say, God, forgive me for everything that I've done. God, forgive me for every portal that I opened. God, forgive me for everything that I came in contact with and I agree with. God, I'm asking you to wash me now in the name of Jesus. God, we tear down every altar that accepts itself among you. Every altar of pornographs. Every altar of drugs, every altar of alcohol, every altar of alcohol abuse. God, we tear down the altars, the altar of depression. We tear down the altars, the altar of child abuse and molestation. And rape in the name of Jesus. Come on, Lord, say, Lord, tear down the altars that were built in my life from my mother's side.
celebrating a birthday, Bishop Barry, Mary Mother Caraway. We have a lot of birthdays this month, amen? Let's yeah. thank God again for all the birthdays, amen? And this month, amen. On October 7th at 7 p.m., Bishop will be preaching for the Camden Ministers Conference at 1198 Penn Street here in Camden. On October 12th at 12 noon, we will be having our first Willie Murders prayer lunch. You can be praying for our family. Tickets are still available now until October 5th. Now until October 5th. Tickets and ticket money must be turned in on Sunday, October 6th. Amen? Tickets are still available. And we're looking forward to celebrating our four honorees. Amen. Sister Jeanette Farron. Amen. Sister Adina Green. Amen. Elder Cynthia. Amen. And we also have Sister uh, Victoria. Amen. And we will be celebrating these women who are worthy of being honored. Amen. 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 On Sunday, October 13th at 5 p.m., Bishop will be preaching for the churches united through Christ's holy convocation. Amen. And let's please save the date for October 19th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Word on the Street Outreach Ministry. That's not the ministry outreach. Amen. We'll be out serving the community. We are the hands, the feet, amen, of Jesus. And they will be doing the work of the Lord. If you would like to donate anything monetarily or if you have any toiletries or anything, please see Minister Naasia, Bishop Gordon, amen, Sister Kathy, Brother Brian, amen. See one of those individuals who can direct you on how you can either volunteer or donate. Amen? Amen. Also, can we please praise God? Minister Asia had her, um, my cup running over tea yesterday. Amen. 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 Also, those who may not have been able to support, but amen, um, purchased the ticket. We thank you. It was a beautiful event. And Minister Nigel, we support you. Amen. Let's go back one more time. Amen. This concludes our announcements. Let's continue to keep all boring families in your prayers. Amen. And follow us on all social media platforms for this information. Thank you so much. Yes. Hey, let's keep on saying Listen, I need y'all to buy these tickets. And I don't want I don't to be more of them than us. And we got people going, I need 15 tickets, I need 10 tickets. Amen. And I don't want there to be so jared back. You ain't got to see it at your own church as you did. Amen. Sister Brown, Minister Brown, they'll be away. She already purchased that ticket. Amen. And that's how you do it. Amen. And we thank God for all your support. Let's get all that money in next Sunday. Next Sunday. If they don't want to do it, they don't want to give you cash. They can send it to the Cash App. Just put their name in the memo. And then when we do have Eventbrite as well, and then they can go in there and register. And then there will be no tickets sold at the door. And then we've already almost reached capacity. And a lot of our donating numbers for our 10 tickets just, just because it's us. And then so let's support our church. Amen? And then also for the outreach, if you have any extra clothes in your house, we want to, we want to prepare the, the homeless for winter. So toilet trees, uh, go to the Bible store, donate, get what you do, do what you need to do. The Bible commands us to take care of the homeless. It is a commandment to take care of the homeless. Amen. If you don't have anything in your house, you want to donate financially, please do so. Amen. Because of Minister Nyesha, myself, Bishop Gordon, Mr. Kathy, we come out of pocket for the things that we do. Amen. 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 Because we believe the blessing of the community. Amen. And we volunteers as well. Last time was a beautiful turnout. It was absolutely beautiful. The people that came, we've had a few who come to the church after we came to each day. So we want to make sure that we're the hands and feet of Jesus. They going to pray something else. Monday, Monday coming up, not this Monday, but next Monday, I'll be preaching for the Ministers Conference, Camden and Vicinity. I need everyone who can to meet me at Mount Calvary Church on Penn Street. Amen. Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church on Penn Street at 7 p.m. You know, I want all my ministers that go with me as we go out on this video assignment. Amen. Let's govern ourselves accordingly. Church store is open today. We don't have food. We just have snacks. We have chips and candy and all that stuff. Don't give your money to Wawa. I give it to I just love here in the streets. Amen. Let's stand up. Amen. Anybody got a testimony before we go? I feel like somebody had a testimony. Anybody got a testimony? Amen. Everyone be good. I'm good. You got one? Come on. Come on. Yes. So, one of our snacks, we was coming home from an event, and right in front of us, the car was in front of us, slid and flipped over into the barriers. Jesus. 
a flashback is after I hit my truck and did the same thing. And I walked away. And, and the, the river was he, he got out of the car and walked away to the little scratch. You don't know what God is keeping you from. Those extra conversations God trying to keep from something. Hallelujah. Give thank God for the life of brother that people have been sitting down with him out there. It could have been another way. He could have had a bad story this morning. But God! Hey, thank you, Jesus. Come on, Mr. Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, she already um, said that I thank everybody for coming out. But yesterday, when my husband was coming in, bringing all the bags and stuff in, we have a door in our kitchen that goes into the pantry area. And then from the pantry area, it goes out to the yard. And when he went to open it, the whole wooden door came off the hinge. Like, literally, we know it's an old door. It's a heavy door. And it has, like, these big bolts. And it was, it's squeaky when you open it, but it literally came off. Nobody got hurt or anything, but God released the word, and I just want to share the release over God is love, that God is pulling the doors off the hinges. So It's for those that are consistent. Yes, come on. Not just because you want to walk through an open door. Consistent in your prayer life. Consistent in your sewing. Consistent in supporting your family and your church family. And also he's calling those that are persistent. Persistence is when you press through even when you've got crazy stuff going on. It's easy to be consistent. I try to get her, I try to get her some 
my birthday and she can do something with it on her birthday. Okay. Wow. Girl, this is over.